Hello and welcome to the Chris Pagentine Basketball Network. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite plays to use from a baseline out of bounds situation to get my big man a layup with a one pass quick hitting play. Let's take a look. I particularly love this play because it's something you could use at the youth level all the way up to a high level of college or professional basketball. At the youth level, it's something I would practice consistently and use consistently with much success. At the professional level or a high level, this is something that I would use maybe out of a timeout. It's pretty quick and easy to draw up and if you have guys with high IQ, they can execute this without much practice. And here we're seeing the same play used now against a 2-3 zone. So teaching point here is to have the screener go and headhunt and find the top guard of that zone and then put help pressure on that big man down in the middle. This is a great play that can be used by either man or zone defense. Okay, here we see China using the exact same play except just a little bit of a tweak. Their starting point is at a diagonal. Okay, and they're using a different position to screen the big man, maybe to get a mismatch or a switch. Okay, they're using their point guard to go up and set the screen for the five. They've got their two man taking it out, and the three and four are clearing space and causing a decoy and a diversion by opening up the middle. All of these plays are opening up the middle. Here we start with the altogether different setup. Double screen going out to the corner with the shooter. Okay, I would suggest using this play if you have a fantastic shooter where they're gonna try to get out. Somebody's gonna try to shoot out and help off of this where we can open up and create a lot of space, okay? That top guard who's setting the screen, he's gonna now go over and set our screen for our post player who's diving straight from the elbow extended to the rim. And as you see, it creates a lot of space and we get the foul going to the rim. This last set is probably one of the most complex one we have in this video. I think it's great, especially if you can practice the timing and get the movements down synchronized with your team. Not something I would put in out of a timeout, not something I would use without practicing a lot at the youth level, but very effective when done correctly. As you can see, it has a lot of chaos as the defense tries to scramble. Thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please follow me on all social media at CPB Network, and check us out on the web at cpbnetwork.com. And be sure to check out any of these videos on your screen now. I'm sure you'll enjoy them as much as you did this one. Thank you and take care.